gas prices are now averaging just over $2 a gallon, the cheapest since 2009. But will that change now that Saudi Arabia, the world's second largest producer of crude oil, has a new leader? Experts say it's unlikely. I expect continuity on oil production too. King Solomon will continue to keep the level of production up, which means prices will stay low. Saudi's new king won't cut production even though low prices are hurting his country's economy. Salman fears if the Saudis slow output, prices may stay low anyway, and they could lose their market share to Iran or Iraq. But in the long run, they can ensure that prices remain low enough so that not just oil, but uh, for example, alternative sources of energy like solar and wind uh, are not economic and therefore investment won't be made. Experts say while the average American is saving about $750 a year from lower gas prices, over 30,000 oil industry jobs have been lost. Some states are being hit hard. And be careful what you wish for. The lower prices go could trigger some sort of recession in at least North Dakota and Texas. But savings from low gas prices are trickling down. Restaurants and bars are seeing their best sales growth in years. Americans are buying more cars and paying down debts. The White House says the president has not talked to the king about oil production or any other issue yet, but they expect the two will have a strong working relationship. Jennifer Johnson, NBC News, Washington.